good afternoon and welcome to my Wednesday ramblings. And it's actually Wednesday and it's actually still early afternoon. This week, we begin a new message series, continuing on the development of our vision into uh, ordinary and everyday language and activities. This time, we're calling this series God of Big Dreams. It actually comes out of the first reading for this Sunday, which is the passage from Isaiah 55, which speaks about how the snow and the rain come down to the earth and they don't return until they've completed their work. So too does the word of God come and it doesn't return until its work has been completed. God has a big dream for his church, for his people, and that dream has been the same since the very beginning of creation. It was voiced by Jesus at the Last Supper when he said, Father, may they be one as we are one. Um, and it's a very real dream that I hold very close, that uh, at some stage in the future, um, possibly not in my lifetime, but that we might all be one people, men and women who live the story of the gospel, live to make the gospel a reality. So when I speak about us being a vibrant Catholic community, when I speak about us being fed by the Eucharist, when I speak about us being empowered by the Spirit, when I speak about us as, as being people, disciples, going out to make disciples, then it's all in this part of God's big dream for us, God's big, wonderful, hairy, audacious dream for us, a dream that invites us to step out of where we are and to go further. But in order for that to happen, something has to change. And so our gospel parable today is the story of the sower. He goes out to sow and some of his seed falls on the rocks, some on the path, some into brambles and weeds and others falls into fertile soil. Wherever the seed lands, something needs to happen. And I suspect that many of us know that it doesn't always open and give life as it should. And so that's the challenge for us. Are we part of God's big dream that allows his word to touch our hearts, his word to open our minds? Or are we just people who wander along and let the pleasures of life, the challenges of life distract us? So welcome to a series, God of Big Dreams. And I'd like to pray that your heart may be open to accept the challenge of the big dream that is God's gift of love and life to each one of us. Have a great day, have a great week. I look forward to seeing you when next I prepare and break open some of the message for next Sunday and my Wednesday ramblings. <laughs>